What is up guys, Aburan here today with another fantastic deck. So you know, some time ago we did a Palo Sun deck and I've kind of whined about, you know, how there's no Sandy Gast. Well, right now we do have Sandy Gast, so I figured, you know what, it's going to be good to come back to Palo Sun GX and actually check if this deck uh, is any good and maybe make make a new one. So I've made a new one, we got a brand new Palo Sun deck, but before I'm going to talk about the deck, let's not forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos like that, more Pokemon TCG content and future uh, because starting next week, VGC competitive content as well. All right, so Palosand, Eerie Light, 60 damage, opponent's Pokemon confused, absorb life, 100 damage, heal 20, but what's really good in the current format is Sandy Fear GX. You look at the top 13 cards of your opponent's deck and you discard uh, their Pokemon excuse me, their Pokemons, and you deal 60 damage for each Pokemon discarded this way. Sounds really good. So let's take a look at the deck. So first things first, we do play one Ditto, one Diancy for this additional 20 damage. We do play one Grudon to put some energy uh, from our hand to one of our Pokemon. We do play line of 2-2 two, two, Rock Prof and Lycanroc, because this Lycanroc can attack for free on uh, fighting type, uh, on fighting, on if there's any GX in play on your opponent's side. Then we have line of 3-2 Sandy Gas Palosand and one Dead Ana GX with Dead Ana Change. Then let's take a look at the 35 trainer cards, which are two Cherish Balls, four Custom Catchers, one Lana's Fishing Rod to bring back something, two Lily's Poke Doll to stall the game a little bit. Then we have four Poke Gears 3.0 to get to support us, three Pokemon Communications, one Reset Stamp, one Switch. Also, we do play three Martial Arts Dojos and one Power Plant. In terms of supporters, four Cynthia's, two Kogus traps to be a little bit more annoying, one Rosa as a comeback, and for the sw sake of switch, we got Tate and Liza, and also you can actually uh, refresh your hand with a buff padding that's gonna go on Palo Sand, because with buff, buff padding, it's gonna have 260 HP with two Karate Belts, right? If you have more prize cards remaining, our attacks cause fighting type less, and 12th fighting type energy. So the deck is quite simple, you know, you want to get to Palo San, use the GX attack, and then slowly, slowly attack your opponent until you're gonna win the game. So let's save the deck and let's go, let's play it. We tried it for like two, three, I think three to four hours on stream, like two versions of Palo San deck, because uh, you can see I have two different ones. Uh, the second one I will upload probably later last week or when I'm gonna be away, uh, maybe then I'm gonna upload it. So, uh, do you want to start with this deck? Yes, you do want to go first, right? Because you want to be the first that evolves. Again, we got another stage one. I have to go with basics. So, definitely, you know, it's a funny deck. Uh, funny deck. It's a fun deck. It's a nice deck to play. And definitely in the fire type meta, it is a refreshing deck to play, right? Because you are exploring those new ideas, new horizons. Uh, let's go heads, because tails always fails, and this time heads fail. Okay. WWT, that's our opponent. Let's take a look at our first opening hand. And we have the best, like the best, the worst start I ever had with this deck, but it can happen. We start with Diancei. We got Pokeball, uh, Poke Doll. My goodness, I can't speak today. And we're playing, oh my goodness, we are facing last March. No, 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 no. Okay, I have to get to my GX super fast, because this deck has a lot of mons, so actually using a GX would help me out, because I would discard a lot of his Pokemons. Alright, Amolga goes back to the deck, and you know, he is feeding out of uh, mons in, <coughs> excuse me, in a discard, uh, in a last zone, right? So putting many of them into a discard pile will work quite well for me. Uh, Trumbic, let's see what I'm gonna have on my top of deck, not a supporter. So, you see like the question now is, what should I do? And I'm gonna play Cynthia, not really energy on Diancy. I know I have ways to switch, so I have to get to Palo Sand, and there we go. That's not a bad start, you know, we got a Kogus Trap, well, let's just think that Diancy is going to get knocked out. I think, you know, this is a fair thing to say. 
uh, we have Lily's Poké Doll to stall the game a little bit until we're gonna get uh, the energy that we need. And of course also Koga Strap that should work quite nicely on the jump left, even though there is a uh, free retreat cost, it's still worth worth using. So definitely a knock like I I don't think there is not a knockout, it is definitely due to a weakness uh, that we have. Of course you can play reds, uh, red and blue, like the second version that I have uh, plays it a little bit differently, there are more draw trees, you know, it's more technical and definitely you know, different, right? So before you're gonna like, you know, try to murder me for not using like red and blue or, or, or uh, anything like that, I've used them in the second version of the deck, I just wanted to go with this first, okay? Alright? Okay. So this like strictly power sun deck. And again, because there's no uh, GXs, unfortunately, we have to manually attach the energy to a Lycan Rock. That, you know, is problematic, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Let's take a look at here. Like, I have my game plan, I need a power sun and we have to go there and take that route so there we go Kogus trap custom catcher for one and that is one energy that is no good that is definitely no good I have one more turn to actually do something and I might get destroyed yep this lost march is just murdering me oh this is a nightmare Yep, retreat and knockout. Of course, I didn't even have a tool to actually browse through my deck to see what I have prized, right? So, that was also... Oh, second from the top, Palo San. Okay, I mean, alright, no, we're still, we're still in it, we're still in this game. I'm not gonna say no, I'm not gonna give up, at least not yet. Alright. Mm. Well, I can bench the DNA, but should I? That's a different question. I mean, yeah, let's just refresh that hand. Maybe we're gonna... There's a power... No, 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 there's power plant. There's power plant. Oh, I looked at mine and I... Yeah. You see, I wanted to play it a little bit faster and that's a game. We are weak to grass type. That's a game. Game number two. I mean, after the DNA like that, you, you just go and play game number two. I wanted it a little bit too fast, and I just played the card. I, You see, I ha you have to think a little bit more. You, you can't get, you know, distracted by anything when you do when you play. All right, so let's play game number two. Come on, we're looking for an opponent. Is there anyone? But wants to play against Almighty Palo Sand, or maybe not that mighty, depending on the deck. Mm. All right, Flappy Walk. Ooh, if okay. Here, I definitely think that might be a Blastoise deck. We've won the coin flip. That's really good. I want to go first. Yes, please. You see, heads never fails. Alright, we got a Rock Ruff. Um, so I'm assuming that is a GX type of deck. So. Oh, there's Mulligan. Okay, so you know, me going Lycan Rock is not going to be a bad idea. Right? What is it? It's. Oh, come on, what is it? Now I'm confused. What am I playing against? Waylord. I'm still hoping for a GX somewhere. Uh, let's draw a card. Reset stamp. Kyogre, okay. I mean, not a lot of things that I can do, so he's gonna try to put the energy back uh, from this card pile. Okay, so that's gonna be his thing. I'm done. Like, there was nothing else I could have done here. Even though we had two custom catchers, uh, there was no point of doing anything, literally. Oh, Crashing Ammo! Okay, and high water not working. Okay. 
so I just want to you know slightly get get rid of stuff from my hand so I will be able to play custom cutters for the draw because that's like you know right now it's the best thing I can do he has those manual attachments so that's one per turn I okay so we still have you know we still have West, we still have chance and Cynthia I mean I wanted the Kogus trap but Cynthia seemed a lot better right now. Let's take a look. Yeah, definitely, definitely Cynthia was a great move on my side. Because now, first things first, I can browse through the deck. Which is important, and you should always do that. So we got Grudon, one Palo Sand prized, one Rockruff, and... No, actually two Rock... Yeah, two Rockruffs. No, one Rockruff uh, is prized, one Palo Sand is prized. One Pokegear is prized. One Cynthia. And some energy. Okay, so those are the prize cards. Uh, so, yeah, Palo San, I mean, let's take him. So I know my prize cards, which is quite good. You know, you should know always your prize cards. And pass the turn. It's like at least I know what I can expect from the deck. I can expect uh, how deck is gonna behave. So there are definitely other things. Yeah, there we go. He doesn't have energy. I mean, I as well. Pass the turn. So this is gonna be you know, a passing game, right? A game of passing turns. I guess Mr. Floppy work. All oh, right, he's going for. A fan club, please go for the GX. Find a GX, and I'm gonna have like a rock just gonna crush you. And we don't need that battle, get out of here. Let's go, Kai Ogre. Oh, and then, oh, right, we've got GXs, actually, we do have them. So now, oh boy, yes, just please give me like and rock or a Cynthia or anything that is gonna be remotely going that direction. Because now, I will have an attacker for zero energy. So the fact that he's going to get rid of my energy will do literally nothing to me. But if he's playing, you know, if he's playing Pipla Blasters, I thought you know, he's going to have a lot more energy than he does. Um, like, I'm mainly attaching. This is, you know, definitely not the s fastest way of doing it. But one of the ways to do, definitely. Kahili, I haven't seen that card in a while. Like, it's always surprising me that people are willing to, to, to bet on that Kahili, you know, to play that coin flip. To, f to flip that coin. That's what I would say. Okay, right, passing the turn. We've got a Lycanroc. Let's go. Let's go. I mean, he has a special energy here, so I know I will be able to attack for some more, but he might knock me out before this is gonna happen, right? But, you know, we got some turns, we, we have time. Misty Lorelei. Search deck for up to three energy cards, reveal them, put them into your hand. When you play this card, you may discard five other cards from your hand. Uh, you, uh, during this turn, your water weapon can use their GX attack, even if you have used GX attack. Quite interesting, interesting card. Alright, so he's passing, he keeps on passing, that's good for me. Um, reset stamp! Okay. Custom catcher, come on, let's draw some cards. Okay. So we drew some cards. Um, that's what I can say. But because, you know, he has those guys, I honestly don't want to go for a... Well, first things first, Diane say. We need a buff, right? We need to buff the damage to knock out Kyogre. And there's still a Cynthia in prize card, so we might actually draw her. And... That's a Pokegear, but that's equally good. It's not... Well, not maybe equally, but it's close to being equally good as, as that. So, he's gonna go for Splash Maker. Um... So I saw some Wishawashis in his deck. 
I'm gonna play Lily's Poke Doll because I can always discard her without you know risking Palo Sun if I'm not gonna get energy or not gonna get anything, right? So that's like a cool thing that you can do with Lily's Poke Doll. You can actually you know just put it front. The same what you should do when you always have like a guy that has like free retreat cost. When you get knocked out, put that guy with free retreat cost. It gives you options, right? It gives you something. Like, I've seen a lot of people just, you know, especially when playing in Nuzzle decks, they put something else. Like, put that Emolga, right? Play those cards. Don't be afraid. Mm, nothing, but we have Tate and Liza, so at least that. So we're gonna go and we're gonna shuffle and draw five. All right, so I actually drew energy. So, well, this kind of means I'm gonna discard Lily's Poké Doll. And I'm going to use the GX of Palisand, hoping a little bit that I will be able to knock him out. But before I'm going to do that, of course, uh, we're going to go and play. And the, not going to play the DNA, because there's a power plant on the board. We have to get rid of power plant first. So, Sandy Gast, <sighs> Sandy Fear. Palisand, Sandy Fear. Let's go. 13 cards. One, two, three. Okay. That's not bad, actually. That's a good amount of damage, 200. And, you know, we discarded to Wellimer, Waylord, and Mega Lupani. So that was not a bad discard. I don't know how many of, you know, mods he plays. So definitely, I hope so, we, we kind of get rid, you know, of, of his, like, game plan, right? So Malo and Lana, okay. Alright, so he's healing on the bench. Switch and attack. Alright, so he's gonna try to heal everything. Not the prettiest sight. Not the prettiest sight. Let me tell you. 150, okay. Let's see. Alright, so... Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Cynthia. That was not what I was hoping for. Honestly, not something I was hoping for. Hmm. I mean, I can confuse him. Or, yeah, like he's gonna knock me out. So, confusing is... Maybe better. Yeah, I mean, okay, let, let's confuse him. Uh, I'm gonna try to lure him into, you know, switching the Pokemon into getting rid of some energy out of it. Pokemon Center Lady. Ah. Oh. Okay, 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 okay. I mean, we've got a Poké Doll, so this is gonna be a, you know, free turn. Poké Gear 3.0. Rosa, yes, 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 and yes. All right, we got a Rosa. We've got a comeback card, and, well, don't get me wrong, we needed that. So, I need a Stadium, which is... Never, like, over-exaggeration at this point. And, yeah, energy, right? So we got a Rock Ruff, Energy and Martial Arts Dojo. So I can start preparing now my Sandy Gast. Martial Arts Dojo. Uh, 19 cards in the deck. The Dede. Dede change. Let's take a look. Alright, another Poké Doll. Alright, good. So I have uh, some ways to stall the game a little bit. On the mm. I mean, both Padding can go here, it's fine. And pass the turn. So I'm gonna stall a little bit, hoping he's not gonna heal, but... I have to get to the Palisand in my prize cards, or... Get my Lycanroc next turn. 
Like, I need him ASAP. Right, there goes Articuno. As long as Pokemon is your active Pokemon. Okay, so whenever this is active, I can't play like Guzma on a, on, a, on a, my bench. My opponent's bench Pokemon. So there goes How. I know where he's going for it. He's gonna try to do zero vanish. Thirteen cards left. We're risking it. We're do we're 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 doing it. Okay. Koga's trap. There we go. And that's gonna be a first custom catcher. And we drew it. That's good. Uh, one more custom catcher. Let's draw those baby. Let's draw those fantastic cards. And because he can play that uh, zero vanish, I don't really want to, you know, attach right now. So, Voltage Claw, let's go. That should be a knockout. Oh, it's close. It's close. It's close to a knockout. 10 damage off. No. No, 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 no. It's 10. Oh, man. Okay, it's 10 damage. It's 10 damage off. Alright, so he healed some. He healed what? 120. Okay, so he's still in range. Is he going to risk... Right, only... Yeah, switch and energy. Mm-hmm. Zero vanish. No! No zero vanish. Alright, so Lana's Fishing Rod is still in the deck, so I still have, well, kind of a chance, right? Cynthia. And that's a game. Lana's Fishing Rod was prized. That is a game. Unfortunately, so this is a Palasan deck, ladies and gentlemen. Um... This version definitely you not know, interesting. Um, is it going to be a new tier one? Well, not really. But maybe the matchups were quite bad. Maybe the matchups were not right or suitable for that deck. But it happens sometimes when you create a deck. It it's fun live on Twitch, but here it's just not performing that well. This is one of those instances. So, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our amazing YouTube channel, and also don't forget to check me out live on Twitch. Goodbye and good night. Raven loves ya. Take care.